Sticker. 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 Sticker, 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 sticker. Sticker, sticker, stickers. Lots and lots of stickers. You gotta admit, man, this is one of the most unique looking things I've ever seen. Bro, give me my buckets. Bro. I'll review this one soon, don't worry. Look at all this green. How come everything's green around me right now? Dear, you have been a naughty boy. You stay in the timeout corner over there. Don't even come close to this video. Whatever, Scotty. I don't have much time, so we gotta pile this video out real quick for you guys. So what's up, you guys? Welcome back to Pick Me Up, Scotty. I'm Scotty, and check it out. You know all about Oxford Block by now. If you haven't, go check out my playlist over here. It's another alternative brick brand that I highly recommend and that I'm a fan of, and they're close to me to number two. You know, Lego's number one, man. But I really do love Oxford Block, and look at this, what you're seeing right here on that camera. It's another exclusive. Limited edition? Yeah, I think we only have a limited run of these in the store. A lot of you have been buying on the store. Thank you very much. This is unique. I haven't even mentioned it yet. Here we go, check it out. So this is Oxford Block's Shake Shack, part of their Oxford town. So maybe this isn't limited? I'm not quite sure. I'm just gonna say it is limited because I'm not sure how you're gonna find this. There's no model number. And I have no idea how many pieces there are in this. Maybe I had to do another giveaway with guessing pieces. Yeah, maybe next time, okay. I'll start doing more giveaways for you guys. Anyway, here it is. And wait, I do have the box. The box is right here, check it out. A lot of you have ordered from us requesting the boxes. That's totally fine. You just have to pay more in shipping. Don't blame me, man. Blame the post office. Anyway, here is the box. It's very simple. Here's the backside with the hamburger on there. You know what though? I'm an in and out guy. Sorry, man. I actually never eaten at Shake Shack before. Here's the manual. It is small, look at that. Again, good luck finding the manual. And there are a lot of stickers you probably can't get unless you buy the set itself. But it's really small, it's nice, it's very easy to read. Anyway, let's pile this out so I can get this out to you guys, right? Look at this. I'll do a quick rotation for you, like this. Look how crazy that looks. It's so different. I've never built anything like it. And what do I think? I love it. I think it's actually very, very interesting the way they did this thing. There are some iffy things about it, but we'll look at that in a second. Let's start in the front, yeah? First of all, tile. You know how much I love tiles. Check out the green, man. Super bright neon green. It almost looks neon. So right off the bat, there's loads of stickers. Everything on here that you see are stickers. Quality is actually pretty okay. So the stickers along the front here are split up, man. I kind of did a junk job on those. But I do like the little logo pieces on there. I like the hot dog. Not ice cream. Man, you guys getting hungry now? I always get hungry when I'm doing these kind of food sets. And there's a menu here on the left side. And it's interesting, they put it on like these transparent bricks. But look at the detail. You can see on the close-up camera, if you can actually see the detail on the menu. And I like that transparent sign. And there's another one here on the other side that kind of sticks out. Yeah, right there, it's popping out a little bit. Man, you OCD fans, I guess you can like push it in like that if you really, really wanted to but on the manual, it is offset like that. That is a sticker of a hamburger on that sign. I like it, it's actually pretty cool. All right, so now I'll rotate it to the side here. Look at that nice big fat sticker there. Fry shakes, hot dogs, concrete, question mark. Yeah, we're all gonna have to Google that together and find out what that is. The detail on the sticker is nice, I like it. It just, ah, it sucks, man. It's gonna go over your, your tiles. What can you do? Leave it off, leave it on. Yeah, you gotta use it, man, because it's, Special and it's unique. And I do like the glass panel there on the side. Again, another giant sticker going right across. Yeah, man, that's one giant sticker. So you non-sticker fans out there, I'm so sorry. It might not be for you. And there's the back. It is open in the back there. Should it have been closed off? Uh, it's a subjective thing, man. You decide for sale. Close it off or you like it like that. You can get your hands in there, kind of. You come to this side here, which is the repeat on the other side but it is a plain wall. And this is kind of funny. They have like little pieces sticking out there, but there's a reason for this happening here because it's all going on on the inside. Now let's talk about this rooftop thing because you're probably looking at this going, whoa, that's right. I've never seen anything quite like this. I love how it is open, but it is really fragile right here. You can kind of see it's not perfectly straight because these are individual pieces. Look at that. That's what I have to nitpick about. I'm not quite sure if I'm a fan of this. Now you might be wondering why they made it look like this and that's because the original Shake Shack in New York, if I'm not mistaken, 
looks exactly like this. Here, I'll slide it here, and you can see a side-by-side -side comparison. Yeah, yeah, so there is a reason for that. But man, like I said, very flimsy right here. These are all individual single pieces. It can come off really, really easy. Speaking of coming off, the rooftop does come off, and there it is. And I like this rooftop. There, put it here. It's like a giant slide. The sides are totally fine. There's no issues building that. It looks a-okay. You know, the rest of the rooftop is actually pretty well built. If you go like that, it's not gonna do anything, surprisingly. It's gonna have a little bit of a curve there. And along the top, you have another sticker that I'm pretty sure, yeah, I think that is one giant sticker. I can't even tell anymore. That means the sticker is good. It's going across this transparent piece right there. So there's the rooftop for you guys. I'm gonna put this next to King Ghidorah. You watch that? Behave. Now we're gonna look inside here. Yeah, look at that. I like how it's nice and bright. Light comes in there nicely. Tilt it up for you guys. Look at that. It's all tiled on the inside. Thank you so much, Oxford Blog. They always do that. And it's nice for once that this set actually looks very different from their other stuff. It'll just cost you if you want to buy one. So before you go inside, you got to open this little door first like that and then go in. Now, when I was building the front part, I was like, man, it's kind of flimsy. Why is it like that? And then afterwards, I was like, oh, that is actually really interesting. I really like how they're doing that. Look at that. The doors can actually fold open like that. You can even go like that. That's kind of cool. Yeah. That is something I like. I think that was very, very interesting. Too bad it can't fully collapse because the door handle's in the way. You probably could if you take the door handle off, pull that off, and then you can kind of close it flat like that. Yeah. How'd that look? Now you got an open shop. Very cool. So on the inside, you got two tables, four chairs. The tables have stickers on them, gives it a wood look and a hamburger logo on it. I gotta admit, man, the chairs are actually really, really loose, especially here. It's supposed to just sit on a stud, but mm, that's the other thing I had to nitpick about. The chairs are really, really loose. They sit on a single stud and they keep falling over. So if you're gonna set it up with your minifigures, be really gentle and take your time. You might get frustrated trying to get your fingers in there. It is actually kind of hard to get your fingers in there once it's all built because it's kind of crammed for my hands right there, man. So enough of that, let's look at the side wall right there. Now check this out. Is this the vending machine on the side? I'm not sure, or is it some like a big giant menu? But that is so cool. Look, they have some swag there. You can buy clothing in this place. You can buy phone batteries, pen, notebooks, t-shirts, baby tees, nice detail, big sticker. Yeah, like I said, the sticker quality is actually pretty good on all these. And next to that, look at the menu. I love how they actually designed the menu. They put those pieces sideways. You see those on vehicles all the time, right? And that's kind of why the backside of the wall has those pieces sticking out. So those pieces can stick inside sideways. And I like the detail of the menus. Look at that. Hamburger is looking juicy. Got burger menu there. Chicken, dessert, shakes, strawberry milkshakes. Yes, please. And concretes. There's those concretes again. Because you know you love concretes. So we come over here to the counter, and above the counter, there's part of the rooftop there that sits in place here with another long sticker, burgers, frozen, custard, fries. Order here, pick up there. Those are really tiny stickers, man. Those are gonna be fun for you to put on. Okay, you have two screens there. One is kind of the cash register screen, but it's facing towards the front. I guess you could always turn that around, but you can kind of see like there's pricing on there. Good detail, I like it. And next to that, yeah, there's a shake machine. Man, I've been craving a lot of strawberry milkshakes lately. And you got a little tray there with the food on it. You got ketchup mustard, that is funny. French fries, a burger, and a drink. And again, those are stickers. Really, really super small. Take your time when you're putting them on, or don't put them on. So on the inside, there's a couple of studs there, so it's nice. You can put a minifigure employee standing there working. Behind him will be the counter there for all the drinks. You got Sprite and Coca-Cola. Again, they have the licensing to make stickers for those. So you get a Sprite and a Coca-Cola sticker. Don't you want that? Probably not, you probably don't need that. Got some mugs there along the back, more ketchup and mustard and some more drinks there on the back. Some cones, I guess also for the ice cream or desserts or something or coffee, but those are all stickers again. Look at the details on the stickers. Those are really, really good. So other than the back counter, that is it. Of course, you have too many figures. Let's take a look at them. So the minifigures are actually really simple. The clothes have absolutely zero prints. They do have stickers. There's two of them in the set. You got the employee here. He's all dressed in black. And I do like the sticker on his apron for once. It's like the hamburger neon sign again. That's pretty cool. 
but he's actually very plain and looks normal. And he's actually the Lego color, so he's yellow. So the guy is Dr. McBrick, who is an Oxford Block fan. Go check out his channel, by the way. Lots of cool mocks. And he has a really awesome looking Lego city. Very cool stuff indeed. But there you are, man. Run in this Shake Shack. But the other minifigure is this woman. She looks totally fine. She's been the same that we've been seeing her in the other sets, but that is a sticker on a shirt. I just the yellow doesn't match with each other. I'm not sure if I like that, but she has a more natural skin tone color. I'm not quite sure why they put them together in one set like that, but there she is. So this lovely lady is Winter Bricker. Thank you so much for letting me know that you are female. So there you are, looking happy and cheerful, ready for some burgers or concretes. That's the minifigures for you. I'll put him in here. So I can stand him up on the stud. And I'll put the girl looking at the menu over here going, what do I want to eat for lunch? Which I'm going to eat soon. Put the rooftop back on here. Dun, 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 There you guys go. There's your base plate. Break out your 32 by 32 base plate. If you want to compare this to your city. So what I'm going to do is put this on the base plate. Come here. Come here, little boy. Sit right in there. Anyway, from here to here, it's 16 studs, maybe an extra two if you want to include this little rooftop piece. And then here, from back to front, there's 24 studs. Yeah, so you got plenty of room there. Is it on one plate? Is it? Is it? I don't know. Let's take a look. It's on three plates right there. Three. So you know, there you go. And break out your one by four bricks. I'm going to stack it right here. There we go. Look at that. Oh yeah, it's pretty close. Look, if I bring it right there, oh man, that is 20 bricks in height. It is right there, look. So there you guys go, there's your dimensions. If you wanna see it compared to like a road here, I don't know why I would take out a road. How right now, just for kicks, I'm put some roads down here. So you can probably put this along here. And yeah, this probably doesn't make any sense whatsoever. What am I doing? I need a vehicle. Here's the 7-Eleven truck coming in here beep beep that is official by the way i'll review it soon i know i know i know and here is a korean food truck which is another oxford block really cool new set as well it parks over here and it opens up but you know what we'll save that we gotta make that a surprise so there you go roads dimensions whatever you want to call this now i would do some comparisons but i'm really cleaning up the office right now if i have time or if i do the close-ups I'll put them side by side together and see what you think, if this is matching for you or not. Again, this is available on BrickMeUpScotty.com for a limited time. So do hit us up if you're interested or if you can find it outside, go get it, man. And oh yes, we have to do a drop test, right? I'll do the drop test with the figures inside because it'll make it more realistic. Here, and lift it up. I'm always saying that I'm kind of scared to do this. I'm scared to do this every single time I do a drop test. We'll do it from this height, ready? Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, not too bad. The sign came off, the sign on the top, but that's fine. It's durable and the sign on the front. Even these little pieces didn't fall down. Look at that. They're still held up there like that. That's what the backside looks like. Isn't that crazy looking? It's actually pretty well built then. Yeah. Okay, put it back on. Shove it there. Oh no, it did come off. See, this is the piece I was telling you about. You had to push up here and then push down here like that i'll clean that up for you nicely so there you guys go oxford block shake shack go get yours or not or have a think or keep watching this video over and over and over and see if you can emulate it who knows anyway it's time to get out of here i'll catch you guys later thank you so much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe and ring that bell and i'll try to get you guys more videos faster i'm faster i'm faster look at my mouth it won't stop okay i gotta get out of here pick me up Pew! Look, for once, it's not a coffee shop. For the one person who said, why is it all gotta be coffee shop? Well, here you go, a hamburger shop. Help me, please, help me. Well, I got my Halloween costume. You know, someone should make some crowns or some hats. Is there a hat I can buy that's like Lego or brick? That'd be kind of cool. This thing fits, this thing almost fits my head. Not too bad. What's up, you guys? Welcome back to Pick Me Up, Scotty. I'm Scotty. 
I'll take this thing off now before it falls off, before I shatter and break it. And for those that for those of you have them, speaking of hamburger, I'll run down and grab one for lunch. Even though we only have McDonald's here. As promised, here's your comparison. Now these are the only Oxford block sets I have in the office right now. And funny enough, each one are really different from one another. So the problem with the Shake Shack is that the sides kind of touch there on the rooftop between each building, so you can't really flush it together. It looks really cool though, right? Look at that. Here, just take a look at a couple angles there. Oh, and you might have noticed that set on the very left. That is a brand new set from Oxford Block. That is the 7-Eleven. Whoa, I'll get to that pretty soon, I hope. But there you guys go. 